Okay, evening guys. I'm out here uh, waiting on my son to finish up his swimming lesson. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick little video here. A recent study came out uh, out of Poland looking at some skeletal remains. They saw a very, very high level of dental decay in these skeletons, and these skeletons date back from seven to 9,000 years ago. Uh, these skeletons predate agriculture in that area, and so many people uh, attribute uh, agriculture uh, to lead to the onset of dental caries. In fact, I think the beginning of what, when we see cavities showing up seems to be about 14,000 years ago. And the authors of this study conclude that likely the cause of these dental caries or cavities was uh, overconsumption of fruits and honey, which is interesting. And this is consistent with data from like the Hadza tribe. You know, it's, as many of you are aware, the Hadza tribe or tribe uh, in uh, Eastern Africa around uh, mostly Tanzania. Um, and they are sort of notoriously studied as representative hunter-gatherer tribes that have been lauded for their microbiome diversity and so on and so forth. But they do consume uh, a relatively high percentage of their calories coming from honey, in some cases up to 35% of their calories, depending on the time of the year. And they also have a pretty significant uh, amount of dental disease uh, uh, in their population. So again, honey is not necessarily our friend and consuming certainly decent amounts of it's a problem. And we certainly see that uh, with regard to the fruit, you know, and again, it, it, I'm sure it's the dose makes the poison to some degree. Uh, with fruitarians that live on fruit, they have often very, very poor dentition. Many vegans report numerous cavities and certainly you can point to the high sugar that many consume, uh, starch has been implicated in another recent study, uh, and it's not just sugar, but it's also starches. Uh, r white rices and pastas and things like that also seem to lead to dental decay. I would argue any diet that makes your teeth uh, unhealthy is not the appropriate diet. Any species in the wild that loses its teeth uh, just doesn't live very long. So any diet that causes human beings to uh, end up with poor dentition uh, is certainly not a species appropriate diet. So take that in mind, if nothing else, uh, and it has been known forever. Uh, any dentist will tell you that, although they, for some reason, they don't aggressively push against that, but uh, uh, high sugar, high starch diets, uh, and apparently maybe high fruit and high honey-based diets uh, seem to be associated with higher rates of, of, of cavities. So there, there it is. So interesting, more interesting data coming in uh, every day. Another study about uh, animal protein being superior. Another 2020 study showing when it comes to function and preserving strength and function in people that are older, over age 50, uh, animal protein is clearly uh, more effective and better associated with better preservation of function. So again, assuming you want to be functional as you get older, um, then animal protein is the way to go. All right, you guys have a great day. Uh, please check us out at meterx.com. Support what we're doing. We are changing the world, and we're going to be, uh, I'm happy to report, doing this in a much bigger way in the near coming future. So we welcome your, your support. We, we'd love to have you in our community. And uh, like I said, we are a very positive community, uh, not like uh, some of the other com communities that demonize everybody that's not part of that. We're, we're not about religion dogma. You know, there's no... Uh, you know, there's no 100% right way or wrong way to do things. You know, uh, there's no 100%. It's not my way or the highway. Or if you're 100% not eating all meat, you're a bad person. Like like some people on the vegan side might say, if you eat one egg, you're now some evil murderer. It's craziness. Anyway, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later.